What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha if you guys are new here. I'm officially announcing that I am officially moving out. So if you guys don't already know, I am currently living with family. In this video, you guys are just going to see my apartment hunting, maybe a little bit of packing and stuff. I just haven't done a intro for this video. But before I get into any of that, I do want to let you guys know about today's sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Built Bar. I'm super excited to be sharing these treats with you. They're gluten free they've got natural flavor and there's no preservatives and they're low in sugar and high in protein so this one here is one of the puff bars so the puffs I believe are all with marshmallow I haven't opened these ones yet though this one is the banana cream pie and this one is the coconut marshmallow so I'm excited to try this out I took out the churro one so I've got churro marshmallow and banana cream pie so I'm really excited to try these out this one has 17 grams of protein and six grams of sugar and 140 calories so that's pretty amazing I like these for a quick snack I've already been eating their regular protein bars which are these ones their original ones um, I like to warm these up and have them at nighttime for like a dessert but churro sounds pretty sweet to me so I almost feel like I won't even need to like warm this up I feel like I'll just be able to eat it like as is so yeah, I'm gonna take this one with me because I've gotta run some errands. I will have a discount code, so I'll leave it here for you guys if you guys want to purchase any of Built Bar's items. But for today's video, I'm going to be doing like a apartment hunting kind of video. Of course, I've already done all the apartment hunting and I actually have my place now. So you guys are just gonna see in this video all the places that I've been looking at and kind of like what I've decided on and all that stuff. So maybe I'll add in a little bit of me packing because I do wanna stop and grab some moving boxes. It's gonna be a place that's way smaller than what it is is now but I'm totally here for it because it's gonna be my own spot it's gonna be exciting to decorate and take you guys along with me I'm quickly going to have my oxy shred though because I need to wake up and I don't have time to make a coffee right now honestly you guys when I'm like on the go I love to make my oxy shred drink and I've been kind of obsessed with lychee daiquiri people have been asking me what my supplements are and I use a lot of the EHP lab supplements and bless protein I personally love the peanut butter cup and I'll put that in my little ninja blender and then I'll have some ice put some oat milk I usually put half oat milk half water and then maybe some chia seeds some oats just depending on if you want to be extra full for the day and then some banana and then a scoop of the protein mix it all up and it's literally the best protein shake it's so easy I do have a discount code for you guys to use it's gonna be Keisha 10 you can save yourself some money and support me if you guys would like I actually have to hurry up and get out of the house because I have somewhere to be right now in like 20 minutes and I'm like 25 minutes away all right you guys so this is the first apartment that I am viewing in my little apartment hunting series so this one had a small closet as soon as you walked in the door and then beside that was this washer and dryer it was definitely a necessity for me to have a washer and dryer and the bathroom was just behind and the bathroom was so pretty. I love the marble detailing all over the washroom. I thought it was so luxurious and just really chic. And then I really liked how the cabinets opened up. You can have all your products there and there was like a mirror in there as well. The kitchen was like a strip kitchen and then behind it was a little den perfect for, you know, an extra office space or storage. And that's another view of the kitchen. This was the dining room slash living room area. And there was a small balcony there as well. And then this is the bedroom. It had a closet, which had some drawers built in there and just the hanging area. This is the second apartment. And this one also had a den, but the den was kind of tiny. I would just probably use this one as storage space. And then it had the washer and dryer there. This is the bathroom. And this is the kitchen. I loved the dark cabinets. I thought it looked so good. It was the living room, the balcony area, and then this is the bedroom. The bedroom had a built-in wardrobe, which I wasn't the hugest fan of. And the walls were like a yellow. This is the third apartment I viewed. This one, as soon as you walked in, it was the washer and dryer, and then there wasn't really a clothing rack there, but it had a beautiful kitchen, and the living room was beautiful, and it had windows on both sides. And this was the bathroom, and then this was the bedroom. There's some closet space by the bathroom. 
and a nice big window. And there was a nice big mirror on the closet, which I really liked. I started filming the fourth apartment in the bedroom. So this was the bedroom, had a nice big window with some great lighting. And then that was the kitchen and living room area, which is super tiny. And this was the bathroom. And this was the last apartment I viewed, which was similar to the first apartment except it didn't have a den. The kitchen was really pretty, and that was the living room area. Oh. And the bedroom was similar to the first apartment except it had a balcony door that opened up. And then this was like the washer and dryer in the kitchen area next to the coat closet at the front, which was actually more spacious. And then again, the luxurious chic bathroom. Honestly, every time I was in this washroom, I'd feel like I was in a hotel. Anyways, that is it for apartment hunting. Let me know which one was your favorite and let's get back to this video. Okay, so I'm just sitting in my car right now. I have my key to my place now. We're doing a quick inspection and I got my official key and everything so I can officially move in, but I have to still like organize all my stuff and it's not really like a rush for me. I was gonna film an empty apartment tour, but my mom's sick right now and she was actually gonna film it for me. I'm thinking to quickly stop at Home Depot, maybe grab a few boxes. People actually sell them on Marketplace, so I'm gonna see if anyone's selling boxes because it makes no sense to buy boxes if I can literally grab them from someone that wants to give them away. So let me see. I did see a few ads that said free boxes, so that's why I looked, but um, those ones got taken real quick, obviously because they were free. I mean, it's fine. I'll go buy some boxes. I honestly don't think I'll need a lot. I just need them for like my kitchen stuff because honestly, a lot of the stuff in my kitchen right now, I actually have a good amount of things to bring to my new place, but I do have a small kitchen. So, I mean, that's really what I'm gonna have to deal with. I have to figure out where I'm gonna put everything because I don't have enough room for everything, you know? I definitely wanna go through some stuff. And then I also wanna go through my clothing as well because I'm gonna be like, I'm not taking all my clothing. Like, my closet is so small you guys it's honestly so tiny so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with that i'm gonna quickly eat this churro bar okay we're gonna grab moving boxes so right here they're 235 and then these ones are the large ones and that's the extra large let's see yeah, these are the extra large. I don't think I need extra large though. Maybe I'll get like two medium, one large because I honestly don't know what I even need. I think I'll actually need this for my place in the closet. There's also this one. This is the basket cart. Maybe I'll need something longer. I was trying to figure out what they had there for storage and stuff, but I guess we can do that in another video because I'm not even gonna go shopping today. But I did want to stop at the post office. I also have this workout mat back there that I got from Walmart that I want to take back because like it's a waste of $35 and never even opened it. I already bought two of them and two is enough and now I'm like moving so I don't even need the workout mats. I'll see you guys once I head home. I just stopped at Home Sense here. Take a quick little look around. I guess I'll film it for you guys. I don't know. I think I'm just window shopping right now, but I mean, if I see something that I really like, then of course I'm gonna jump on it. I 
couple things that I liked for storage, but I didn't actually see any furniture pieces. I definitely have to like look a lot more for furniture pieces. I'm more specific on that because I kind of want things to match, you know? But yeah, I'm gonna keep looking and I will see you guys once we're at the house. So now I've got the boxes here. So I got a large one and then I got three medium ones. So I think I'm gonna just start packing some stuff. I ran out of bananas and usually bananas are like a key point in my shakes. So I'll just show you guys how I make it without banana. I put like water in there. I like to put a bunch of oats, some chia seeds. My favorite protein has been peanut butter cup. So I'm gonna put a scoop of that. And I need to put ice. I also like to add peanut butter. Put like a tablespoon or two tablespoons to be honest. I really like peanut butter. I need a little bit more liquid, so I'm actually just gonna add some oat milk for some extra flavor, just to the max line. So I'm gonna shut that, and then, then we're pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna blend it. And that is our protein shake. This is literally so easy to make. So I'm gonna have this, and then I'll probably make some food in a little bit. going to Staples. Staples, I'm just going to photocopy something and then tomorrow I need to drop something off at the post office. I might film my like empty apartment tour tomorrow. Should have put my seatbelt on. I'm like already here, but still. I've kind of got like a headache. So I started packing all those boxes and then I realized like my tape keeps coming off. So I'm literally gonna have to unpack all of the stuff that I just packed into those boxes. So I'm gonna redo that with some proper tape. So I just finished this box here. I had to retape it so now it seems more durable there. Thank God I got new tape because yeah, you can see that this is totally coming off. I don't even think it was duct tape. So I gotta repack that. I made myself two egg sandwiches with turkey bacon and the yolk is nice and soft. So it's gonna be like delicious. in bed now well I'm not like fully in bed I have to take off my makeup and actually get ready for bed maybe I'll continue this um, packing situation in another video and not add it in this one because this one might be too long so, yeah I'm gonna close out today's video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you do want to see any more videos from me then make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys